in class, here's what we did, very similar to what we've already done, so I'm going to go through it rather quickly. Here we have a y-axis with uh, points negative 5, 17, f of x, f of 2, f of r, dark, and f of x plus delta x. Now, uh, this arrow <coughs> excuse me, goes from negative 5 to 17, so the calculation that gives us the length and direction of this arrow would be 17 minus negative 5, or 22. 22 in the positive direction. Okay. Now, if we wanted to do f of 2 minus f of r bark, well, we would do uh, that. That would give us the displacement from f of r bark to f of 2. Okay. This displacement here would be represented then by f of 2 minus f of r bark. F of x plus delta x minus f of x would be represented by an arrow from f of x to f of x plus delta x. So, 17 minus negative 5 represented by the arrow from negative 5 to 17. F of, f of 2 minus f of r bark represented by the arrow from f of r bark to f of 2. f of x plus delta x minus, del minus f of x represented by the arrow from f of x to f of x plus delta x. Then on a graph, if we have x, x plus delta x here, as before, we have the point, we find the points f of x, come up to the graph, find f of x plus delta x, and right there is our f of x plus delta x minus f of x, the arrow representing that difference. And of course, that's going to be equal to the rise of this triangle. f of x plus delta x minus f of x is the rise, delta x is the run, so uh, the meaning of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x is the slope between f, x f of x and x plus delta x f of x plus delta x. Then if delta x is small, okay, take a smaller value of delta x, you still get a tiny triangle up here, and the slope of that triangle will be closer to the slope of the tangent line than the slope here. And in the limit, as delta x approaches 0, the slope of the fundamental triangle that we get, the tiny fundamental triangle, the slope will approach that of the tangent line. So I say if delta x is small, this quotient here is close to the slope of the tangent line at x f of x. And that slope is f prime of x. Now, here we ask some questions. Is f prime of x greater than 0? Is it less than 0? Or is it equal to 0 at x equals x1? Well, at x equals x1, the graph point is here, and the tangent line looks like this purple tangent line. So that we conclude that, well, that tangent line has a positive slope because if we have a positive run, we'll have a positive rise. So rise over run is going to be positive. Um, so if the slope of the tangent line is greater than 0, then f prime of x is x1 is greater than 0. Okay, slope of the tangent line is greater than 0 here, so f prime of x1 is positive. Same with f prime of x2. Okay, slope is positive, so f prime of x2 is greater than 0. Uh, we get over to x3, and we see that we have a negative slope. If we have a positive run, we have a negative rise. So rise and run are going to have opposite signs, and the slope is going to be negative. The graph is going to be decreasing at that point. So we have a negative slope. F prime of x3 is less than 0. It might be a little hard to read that. Um, another thing we note, the slope is 0 at the highest point of the graph, and that's going to be very important. Now, in orange here, and the comment in orange, uh, at the point x1, we take a small interval. Uh, this interval between here and here is considered to be our delta x. So we get a small fundamental triangle, which I've kind of indicated there. And we see how the slope of that fundamental triangle appears to be pretty much the same as the slope of our tangent line. Now, it's probably a little bit different if we go down to the finest details, uh, but n n no detail that we can see for at this scale is there a significant difference. 
And of course, as our delta x approaches zero, as this point approaches this point, that fundamental triangle will get smaller and smaller, and its slope will get closer and closer to that of the tangent line. So, a comment here, I'm just saying delta x is small, so the slope of the fundamental triangle is going to be close to the slope of the tangent line. Uh, so that the slope of the fundamental triangle is close to the slope of f prime of x1. Because, of course, the slope of the tangent line is equal to the derivative, the value of the derivative f prime of x at the point.